Hello everybody, and today Scream Factory gave us the brand new extras for the Halloween 4K collection, 1995 to 2002. We did a previous video when they announced this, so you can go check that one out to get the preliminary thoughts on the set. But these extras that they've included, it's a lot of the legacy stuff that you can get in a set like this one or this one. Um, but there's some new extras too here for fans that are looking for maybe some new footage or anything like that for Halloween 6 a lot of that new footage has been put into the producer's cut or anything that was not added to the theatrical cut and then for H2O uh, there just wasn't you know anything really to, to find out about deleted scenes that isn't already included in that legacy bonus content what you're really getting here is a lot of new stuff for Halloween Resurrection which could be disappointing for some people, but for a movie like this that is so maligned, it might actually be pretty interesting to hear from the people that made it and the people that were on set what might not have worked with it or what was going on. So let's go through the new extras here. So for Halloween 6, uh, we do have uh, four discs for Halloween 6. We have the 4K disc, the Blu-ray disc, we have the 4K disc for the producer's cut, and then a Blu-ray disc for the producer's cut. So that's pretty awesome to get all of those with nice high bit rates and everything so it'll be as good quality as possible and then of course we have two discs for h2o blu-ray and 4k and then two discs for halloween resurrection blu-ray and 4k but for halloween 6 the theatrical cut we've got a new 4k scan obviously we've got a new audio commentary which is pretty interesting pretty awesome to get a full commentary with uh, screenwriter daniel Farrens, actress marianne hagan and michael perez is sort of you know leading the whole thing here that's pretty interesting. It'll be interesting to see from uh, screenwriter my, uh, Daniel Farrens uh, just what went into this because of these two very different versions of the film are so different in the way that the story is portrayed and everything between the producer's cut and the theatrical cut. It's going to be a very interesting commentary. Now, there is another commentary that's on the producer's cut with the screenwriter. Maybe there's some stuff you remembered or I'm not sure. But that's the new stuff for The Curse of Michael Myers for the producer's cut. It is just the 4K scan that we're getting, and then that's it. And then for H2O, nothing new here besides the 4K scan. There's a ton of extras anyway going in on this from the legacy content. And then, like I said before, for Halloween Resurrection, we're getting a new 4K scan. We're getting a new interview with production designer Troy Hansen. We're getting a new interview with uh, stunt coordinator Donna Keegan, who is also Jamie Lee Curtis's stunt double. We're getting an interview with special makeups effect coordinator Gary J. Tuncliffe. We're getting an interview with Gary Clayton, actor. We're getting an interview with actor Sean Patrick Thomas. And then, of course, we're getting an interview with comic book, art, comic book artist Steph Hutchinson. So these extras, they're not super in, involved. It's not like the uh, 4Ks for uh, the Halloween 1 to 4 or 1 to 5, pardon me, where we got a brand new opening scene for Halloween 5 included, which is a big reason to upgrade. But this box set and the new 4K scans, because the 4K scans for Halloween 1 to 5 were absolutely stunning and beautiful. Go watch the one for Halloween 4. It's the opening of that movie, magnificent. I already pre-ordered this one. If I hadn't pre-ordered, these extras probably would get me to pre-order, especially for Halloween Resurrection, even if that one is not as good as the rest of the movies in the series. This is still a good suite of extras and you're getting all of the old ones included. That's also very important. I know a lot of sometimes these these re-releases or 4K upgrades don't include some of that bonus content that you got previously. Now we're getting everything. It's basically the 4K version of this set minus the Rob Zombie films, and then the packaging is might be a little different um, because we're getting that that snazzy box for this release. But what do you think of these extras? Are you disappointed? Did you want to see more? I don't even know what people would want to see from these, but um, this is pretty exciting. It comes out on October 4th. You can pre-order it from Scream Factory. If you do from them, you get the three posters of the original, or not the original art, but the art that they commissioned for the set. If you, uh, and you can get it from elsewhere. You can get it from Amazon, Best Buy, wherever. Best Buy might actually put these out early because they did that for the Halloween 4Ks last year. So we'll have to see if you want to get them before anybody else. I guess you can go check out Best Buy. But that'll do it for this video. Just a really quick, uh, you know, summary of the extras that are on this 4K set for Halloween uh, 1995 to 2002. Remember, once we hit a thousand subscribers, if you're a subscriber, you will be entered in to win this set right here. We've got 
the Halloween Complete Collection. This is out of print. This is the Blu-rays of every Halloween film, including the Rob Zombie films that you'll get. We've got a Thing figure to give away, and then, of course, we've got a The Thing set from Arrow Video that's not this one, the really nice one, but it's just the standalone version of this. So that should be exciting. When we get to 1,000 subscribers, make sure I'll give you the all the details on how to enter that. But thank you for watching, and uh, I will see you again real soon. And it's almost Halloween season, so everybody get ready.